In League of Legends, the Chalice of Harmony and the Tear of the Goddess can both be beneficial on champions who require large amounts of mana. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at which item can be more cost effective, depending on the situation. Let's take a look at the items now. Chalice of Harmony costs 880 gold and will grant 25 magic resistance and 7 mana regeneration. It will also multiply a champion's mana regeneration by 1 plus a champion's misting mana divided by their maximum mana. The Tear of the Goddess costs 700 gold and will grant 250 mana and 7 mana regeneration. It will also grant 4 bonus mana each time a champion spends mana. This effect has a 3 second cooldown and has a maximum of 750 bonus mana. One is saving 40 gold on a Chalice of Harmony and 220 gold on a Tear of the Goddess, not taking either passive effect into account. One should note that both items grant 920 gold worth of stats while the Chalice of Harmony is more expensive. A Chalice of Harmony will be more cost effective than a Tear of the Goddess if it grants an extra 3 mana regeneration. On the champion with the lowest level 1 mana regeneration, Taric, this can be achieved if he is missing 67% of his maximum mana. On the champion with the highest level 1 mana regeneration, Leona, this can be achieved if she is missing 34% of her maximum mana. Every time a Tear of the Goddess grants 4 bonus mana, a Chalice of Harmony will need to grant an extra 0.13 mana regeneration in order to become more cost effective. A Tear of the Goddess which is granted the 750 bonus mana will have a stat value of 2420 gold. In order for the Chalice of Harmony to become more cost effective, it will need to grant an extra 28 mana regeneration. Overall, more often than not, the Tear of the Goddess will be more cost effective than the Chalice of Harmony. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Lil Math episode. You can also like Lawmath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me livestream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Lawmath.